All right, so in the last video that I did on the uh, screens that I was selling, I was talking about how with the newest operating system update, Apple was able to disable the screens that I was using since the screens that I purchased, even though they were the same model number, did not have the same EDID code programmed since those EDID codes are typically programmed once the screen makes it into a full assembly. Those screens had not made it into a full assembly and did not have an EDID code programmed. I was purchasing those screens for the specific reason that they were not yet mounted into a full assembly, since most of the time I do not need the full assembly, I simply need the LCD screen. The Apple logo and the aluminum back is not what breaks, that part is what breaks. So, now I had also made a comment on the supply chain and how the supply chain has been tightened down a lot over the past few years, and it's been much more difficult for people like me and many other repair centers and reverse uh, logistics providers to get the parts that they need to repair these products. One of the things that I had said is that I had heard a rumor that the supply chain has been getting tighter, there's fewer people involved in it, but also that they're p actually paying people more within that supply chain so that they are less incentivized to give other people the garbage. Now, what do I mean when I say garbage? Well, one of the things that you may see that I use a lot are these things called donor boards. So these here are donor boards. This is a MacBook Air motherboard that is not exactly in the best of condition. As you can see here, it has a physical break in it. It is warped. It is missing a bunch of parts. This one over here also has a hole in it. Now, most of these boards are boards that were either they had some sort of defect in them. They had maybe some sort of PCB level defect. Some sort of trace was missing. Uh, something was wrong with the actual construction of the PCB. So these were junked boards. Now, when you have these junk boards, typically they get trashed or recycled and thrown away. So what would occur is that somebody in that supply chain would go, hmm, this is being thrown away. And then somebody would, like one of my suppliers would come along and say, huh, I'll, instead of paying that away, throwing that away, what if I pay you to give it to me? And this is a nice thing. This allows me to do things that I otherwise would not be able to do. So for instance, over here, you have a chip called the System Management Controller. So this system management controller is what deals with things like giving you a green light in the charger and also recognizing the battery. And when the battery charger chip goes bad, and it'll send 16 volts to the chip rather than have a nice 3.4 volt communication on state line. When that happens, your machine will have an X in the battery slot. Common issue. Now, I can't buy this chip and then program that chip. What I have to do is I have to take this chip off of a donor board and then solder it onto the board that I want to use it on. The reason is because this chip is designed in such a way where if I try to read the programming from it, this chip will wind up becoming useless or erasing itself. So this chip winds up doing something very similar to what the terrorists would do in that show 24, where Jack Bauer would catch them, he would want to interrogate them or capture them, but since they didn't want to give up the information, they would swallow a cyanide pill so that Jack couldn't get the information from them. Very similar to that, this chip will wind up often erasing itself if you try to read the programming off of it so that you can program another chip. So it is useful to be able to get donor boards like this, not so that I could build a MacBook, not so that I could steal intellectual property, yeah. and you could open up a MacBook and have the board in front of you, not so that I could do anything evil or get trade secrets. It's nice to be able to have these donors because I get parts that I otherwise would not have access to that allow me to provide these repair services for customers that want to pay for them, and B, this, uh, when recycled the way it would t often be recycled with e-waste recycling, you're reclaiming somewhere between 5, maybe 18% of the raw materials. It's a real waste and it's much better to actually reuse this stuff inside of machines. Now I had mentioned recently that there was a rumor, I haven't confirmed it yet, just a rumor, that people in the supply chain have been getting pay raises, so they're getting paid more money, and there's less people in that supply chain, so that when someone comes along and says, hey, I notice you're throwing out a bunch of stuff that is clearly trash. Can I pay you to take that trash? That those individuals say have it now have an incentive to say, no, that is definitely going to be trash. And somebody said, well, Lewis, you said that your batteries were legit, came from a factory. But apparently all you do is steal things. Yeah, yeah. Kind of implying that what I'm doing here is I'm asking people to run into Apple stores with M16s, hold up the store, and then bring the parts to me. Because that's how I get all my stuff. Uh, no. This is garbage. This is complete and utter recyclable trash. This is junk. And to be 100% clear on this matter, I have absolutely no shame in having somebody in China or Taipei or Taiwan or or Shenzhen go through other people's trash, find stuff like this, and then give it to me that, so that rather than being thrown out and recycled, 
I can use it to not only fix devices for customers who are willing to pay, but also run a business that employs over 10 people at wages that even Bernie Sanders would be happy with. And it just strikes me as interesting when we're, when we're having these conversations and, you know, Apple talks about being green, Apple talks a lot about, you know, wanting to save the environment and all this. People who tend to purchase the produ uh, products tend to be the, the liberal types that are very environmentally conscious, but they would rather see stuff like this get tossed out and recycled where you're reclaiming 5% of the bare metal than have it actually be used in other machines. I think that that's a waste. And I have, ab and now Apple may say, we want our garbage to be shredded. We don't want our garbage being seen by anybody. And if, if we're talking about, you know, sensitive documents with secret information, by all means, go for it. But if we're talking about electronics, I don't care. And I don't care if somebody po points, uh, calls me out and says, you don't respect the fact that they want this to be garbage. Of course I don't respect it. But I don't have a reason to respect it. Uh, I respect the consumers that would like me to be able to make their MacBooks see the battery again when Apple will not. And I do that through these. Now we also deal with screens and other devices where for whatever reason, Apple said, we're not using this. Maybe Apple got more than they needed. Maybe it didn't meet up to their uh, inspections. Maybe they didn't have EDID codes. Maybe they didn't have the coding applied the same way they'd like to. I don't know what it is. But what we'll do is we'll search through this and we'll say, okay, that stuff was rejected because that's actual crap. This stuff, that's not junk. I'll take it. Uh, you know, again, if it's LG panels where they have like the nine on the side of the box, like, eh, leave that away. LG panels with the five on the side of the box, uh, I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take that stuff. LG panels with an A on the side of the box, I'll take it. Uh, I don't think that there is a point to having this stuff sit in a warehouse where it will never be used, or even worse, be recycled to the bare metal where, again, in the bare elements where you're wasting like 95% of it. And to be clear, I am not some sort of environmentalist. I am not criticizing you for the way you live your life. I do try to, uh, you know, care somewhat. I, I don't pollute. I use, I've been using LED lights in my home and my store for the past seven, eight years. I, have, I use a buffang to get home and to here. I'm a vegan. I, I, I do care to a point about the environment. I'm not trying to use the environment as an excuse to be able to do immoral things, nor am I trying to use environmentalism as an excuse to destroy the economy to save the temperature of the planet by going up, you know, one-tenth or one-third of a degree over the next one or three hundred years. But this is a basic issue that I think that everybody can be united on, which is that if somebody throws something like this away, it would be better off if I got to go through that garbage and take it than for it to just be junk. So my response to that would be uh, that gotcha would be I don't have any problem whatsoever with taking other companies trash. And this is something that happens constantly. I, when I throw away stuff at home, when I throw things in the recycling, there's somebody who comes by all the garbages in my block and he picks out all the cans and he picks out all the glass bottles and all of that and then he goes, to the, he has his cart, he brings it to the store and he winds up making his, you know, 10 or 30 bucks from it. When I throw away my e-waste outside in New York City it, or even when I throw away normal trash, people will come by and go, wow, that's a computer shop and I see something with an Apple logo in the trash and granted it's display assembly that's, you know, totally useless, but they will dig through that and they will dig and dig and dig and try to find all of the stuff that may even have the tiniest bit of value. Granted, if I throw it away, trust me, it has no value. But they will look through that garbage. I don't stand in front of the garbage with a baseball bat and say, how dare you, how dare you. If they can find something they can use, more power to you. Yes, I did order batteries that were created by a factory that was making them, not stealing them. Uh, yes, they were seized by customs. And yes, I was not able to pursue the case in the manner I'd like to because a middleman between the factory, the supplier, and then the other supplier was putting a, not, I, I feel so weird saying this because it's becoming a meme, a label on it that was near impossible to remove. And that label... Uh, was uh, it, it, it had stuff on it that wasn't supposed to have on it. My vendor crossed out everything in that label because it was so impossible to remove. And because that label originally had that stuff under it and because it was not applied at the factory, I was not able to pursue my case. But this does not mean that I am happy to get stuff where somebody's again holding up an Apple store with their M16 and going, give me your stuff, Lewis needs to fix things. If a company is throwing things away, I have no 
problem, no ethical or moral qualm digging through their garbage, taking the stuff out and using it, particularly when you're going above and beyond to deliver a middle finger to the people who would like to work on this stuff by making SMC chips that kill themselves if I try to read the data from it so that I can't fix something. I have no moral or ethical qualm doing that, and I don't think when explained in context to a rational individual that they would have this qualm either. And what really gets me is how somebody could be so brainwashed into supporting a particular business that they can't see that this is in their own self-interest. You may someday have a product that is out of Apple Care that is th that you would like to fix and where you may have a financial issue where you may not be able to purchase a new one that stops recognizing a battery where even if you hate me, even if you despise me, you will want someone like me to charge you one half to one third to one eighth of what the Apple Store charges to use something that they would otherwise have deemed as trash to fix the device that you would not be able to get service through them. You are defending a company's right to make it more difficult for you to have something done for the sole sake of having 100% secure control over their trash. This, this effing garbage right here. Like really, like look at this. Th th these are donor boards for the new machines and because the Z supply chain has gotten so tight, they're literally cutting the donor boards up into pieces like this and the only reason I imagine is so that they could fit this stuff up their asshole before they bring it home so that they can mail this stuff to me when it is trash. They're literally taking these boards out of the trash but because they, they probably can't fit them in their pocket or they're getting inspected, the only thing I can imagine is that they're eating this thing or shoving it up their ass or putting it in their underwear so that they can get me a CD3215 chip. Like that is the amount of effort that people are going through just to be able to get trash to me so that I can make a machine that doesn't see the USB-C charger, see the USB-C charger, when the Apple authorized place won't do it at all. And you're defending their right to go through this amount of effort so that their trash gets incinerated rather than used by people like me to fix the device that you own. You do you, man. You do you. Dad! Dad! Dad!